SCTV is on the air. SCTV now begins its programming day, starring Joe Flaherty, Eugene Levy, Andrea Martin, Rick Moranis, and Dave Thomas, featuring Robin Duke and Tony Rosato. Television like you've never seen before. This is the SCTV Television Network. And now, Sunrise Semester with Elkie Stereopolis. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And I especially mean ladies. <laughs> and welcome to Sunrise Semester. I'm your instructor, Elkie Stereopolis. And today's subject is Greek travel. Now, many of you may have an occasion to travel to Greece, and if you do, you're a very lucky person, because like me, I find the, the Greek people and one of the most beautiful people on the face of the earth, the Greek people. <laughs> Say that after me, the Greek people are beautiful. <laughs> Greek people, beautiful. All right, now, you're going to converse in Greece, and I want to teach you one key phrase that I think everyone should know when they go over there, because this phrase will open many doors for you, and it's one you have to learn. This is a phrase that every Greek knows and they can respond warmly to it. Here's the phrase. Okay, baby, what's a happening? <laughs> Repeat that after me. Okay, baby, what's a happening? Once you learn this simple phrase, as I say, you open many doors and many people will become your friends. And now the usual response to this is, uh, good to see you, my friend. So you say, hey, baby, what's a happening? They'll reply, good to see you, my friend. Now, you may want to uh, say something else like, uh, uh, how about a ham sandwich? How about a ham sandwich? To which they'll uh, very properly reply, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, as I say, with a one key phrase, and incidentally, throughout the islands, there are different variations of this phrase. Uh, you'll find different inflections. So beware, if you're on the uh, island of Idra, for instance, what the person will say is, Hey, baby. <laughs> so, we're going to emphasize this. Hey, baby. What's a hip? So you see someone on Idra say, Hey, baby. What's a hip? You'll know you're on the island of Idra, of course. So, with these variations and with this phrase in mind, I think that you can have a very pleasant stay in the beautiful island of Greece. And uh, believe me, I'd, uh, I'd like to join you because I love it so much. Well, that's all the time we have for now, so I'd like to wish you a good morning. And remember, okay, my friend, what's a happening? Thank you very much. Walter. And now, SCTV station manager, Edith Prickley. It's just so depressing on the dialing for dollars show. They I make the calls and I get yeah. abused and It's it... hard, Walter. I... Oh, hello. Walter, excuse me for a minute. I'm so Just sad, relax. Either. Just relax. Right. Say some mantas. <laughs> I got a promo of show, right. you know. How are you doing? Edith Prickley here, your station manager, to tell you about a show we brought back. That's right. You asked for it. By popular demand, we brought back Mel's Rock Pile. It's a nifty show. It stars Rock and Mel Slurp. So Dick Clark, eat your heart out. <laughs> Mel Slurp, gee, he's good. I handpicked him myself, you know. He was down on College and Young selling pretzels. I said, you want to be a star? He said, sure. <laughs> the rest is history. So watch it tonight, won't you? Rockin' Mel Slurp. Walter, well, stop that, for God's sake. You're losing your mind. Now. I just can't resist a good... Anyway, tune in a little later on. Mel's rock pile. <laughs> You'll boogie to your heart's content. Why did you do that, Walter? Oh, I'm depressed. Oh. I'm not myself. Lord oh. up in heaven, what's wrong? The family? Is the family? I know. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You're welcome, Myrna. Hey, Casanova, how's it going with Myrna? Lousy. I can't even get her to talk to me. And don't tell me it's my breath, because I already tried that mouthwash like you told me. Hey. Mr. Voice of Gloom, come on with me. You see, Ralph, your mouth breath might be fine, but maybe your nose breath is offending people. Nose breath? You see, nose hair stopped you so much, but a certain amount of offensive nasal breath still gets through. That's why I start off each day with 
Nasex nasal spray. One shot of Nasex, and I'm protected for the whole day. Nasex? Mind if I try some? Hey, Romeo, looks like you and Murder are grooving now. Thanks to you and Nasex. <laughs> Nasex Nasal Spray, also available at Roll-On. <laughs> and now, exercise is easy with Lucky Ibsen. a lot of time and a lot of willpower to get your body to look good. Well, they're wrong. Here, take a good look at my body. See anything the matter? Well, a lot of people would say, she's too big. Well, they're wrong. My head's too small. That's right. My head's too small for my body. Here, let me illustrate. Here's a large body with a little pea head. <laughs> Take the same size body, put a larger head on it, and you've got proportion. <laughs> That's right, proportion. So what? <laughs> well, I've designed a number of exercises to help actually increase the size of one's head. Could I have some music, please? Any contact with a solid object is good for the head. Ooh, that feels good. You try it. Ooh, I can feel the swelling already. All right. For our next exercise, take an ordinary bicycle pump like this one. And this one's been medically approved. Now, normally, you'd put the hose in your mouth and start to pump. But we're gonna demonstrate here with a balloon. Some more music, please. Woo! That feels good. Oh! Look at that head grow. Look at that. That's what it's all about. That's great. There we go. Proportion. <laughs> Don't let that happen to you. A third exercise is to take an ordinary sink plunger like this one. This one's also been medically approved. Now, place this against your head like this. The purpose of this exercise is to stretch the skin in order to accommodate the new large head. Some more music, please. Woo! Woo! That feels just great. Exhilarating. Well, that's enough exercises for today. I'm exhausted, and also too many of these can induce brain damage. Please join me next week when we'll be talking about diet through disease and how to obtain effective weight-losing sicknesses such as Malaria, scurvy, and conjunctivitis, where you can't see the food you're eating. Well, that's all for today. Oh, and here's my book. Please buy my book. And don't forget you can send in for Lucky Epson's new book, Big is Beautiful, care of SCTV. That's SCTV, 5325 104th Street, Edmonton. That's Edmonton. Good day, welcome back to Canadian Corner, the Great White North outside. We still we still don't have a place to do the show. And How's it going, eh? This is my brother Doug, and I'm Bob McKenzie. The reason we're holding our coats is because we got uh, mic problems with the wind, right? Okay, move the, the coat away from the mic and so oh, they know. Yeah, right? like, listen. Oh, look at this, eh? Like, like welcome to Oz. You can't hear us, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, so today, um, I wanted to... I wanted to admit something to you, which is that Doug stole his car, okay? Oh, nice admitting. He stole it. I Holder. didn't stole it. He did, eh? I did not. He stole it. When okay, we, we got, both stole it. When we got booted out of the station, eh? He, 
he said, oh, let's take some wheels with us. So well, we got this for like another week until the cops get us or like until we can dump it or get it repainted, eh? But, well, the reason it's parked this way is so you can't see the plates. But um, it's a real good, well, you know, like it's, a, it's an okay car, it's but it's a, like we alternate nights sleeping in it, eh? In the front and the back. Anyway, um, if anybody out there knows a studio that we could... Uh, hey, geez, there's a bus, eh? We're never gonna get home if we don't get in that bus. We, we forgot to mention we lost the keys to the car, eh? So we're gonna have to leave it here. Well, we'll get the next pose head. You go had get that bus. Eh? You had the car, all right, you had the car hey. keys last, eh? Oh, he's gone. Take off. We'll please. get the next one. Anyway, right. if anybody knows a studio um, that wants us to come and do the show in, it's really starting to get cold out here, OK? Yeah, it's like winter, eh? And. What happened there? Was that snow? It's just real, it's just cold. So that's the show for today, and good day. Good day, eh? Listen. What? You know, I don't know when the next bus is coming, eh? OK. If Mom sees that we stole a car, we're going to be, well, we don't have the keys to the car. Hi, kids. It's time again for Mel's Rock Pile. Tonight, we're really going to shake a couple of booties with the Rock Pile Dance Contest Finals. So remember, get up before you get down. Because here he is, Rockin' Mel Slurk. Hello again, and welcome to Mel's Rock Pile. I'm Rockin' Mel Slurp, and we're gonna have a lot of fun in the Rock Pile this week. We're gonna be doing some talking to some of the kids on, in the studio here, and we're gonna be doing some music. And ready for this? Rockin' Mel's Rock Pile Dance Finals this week. And, uh, and well, I know we're all excited about that. I know I am, anyway. As if that isn't enough, a real special treat in the Rock Pile this week. Our special guest is a guy who's on the comeback trail as a singer and he's in the area doing some promotion or PR as we say in the music industry and uh, and uh, he's he's here and and uh, he's a big movie star with a really high voice and he's one of my faves. Richard Harris is going to be on the rock pile this week. So right now let's get on down get on down the road with the farmers and Disco Hayride. <laughs> warmer in here already with all the heat from that gyrating flesh. <laughs> hey, know what time it is? It's time for the Rock and Mel's Rock Pile Dance Finals. No, it's 8.15. Oh. <laughs> no, seriously, it's time for Rock and Mel's Rock Pile Dance Finals. So let's go over and meet our finalists right now. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Johnny Terrio. And who's your partner, Johnny? Patty. Patty what? Patty Watt. What? Correct. Patty, correct. Well, it's nice to have you with us, Patty and Johnny. Nice to have you in the rock pile. And, uh, what, what's your name? Jerome Slurp. Is that Jerome Smith? Smith. And who's your partner, Jerome? You know her name, Mel. Why don't you let her answer? Sandra. Not any Sandra you know. Well, it's nice to have you, have you all with us here at the, at the dance finals. And as you know, the winner of the dance final gets a $100 cash prize, and Rock and Mill is going to be the judge, so you know there, there's not going to be any hanky-panky. <laughs> so good luck to everybody, and let's boogie.
It's going to be real close because uh, everybody was so good and everything, but somebody has to win. So uh, I guess the uh, the prize to the, to the winner of the Rock Pile Dance Finals is going to have to go to, I'm afraid, Jerome Smith. <laughs> Very close. Wait, 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 what are you trying to do? Well, wait, did I say, well, what, did I say Jerome Smith? <laughs> I must have come all around because I meant to say Johnny Terrio, of course. Right. So there, there you go. I don't know how that happened. Okay, well, it's that uh, time in the show that we've all been waiting for, time for our special guest tonight. And uh, he's a guy that you've seen on the silver screen for so many years now. He's a real big actor, and I'm a big fan of his. Would you welcome, please, Mr. Richard Harris. <laughs> Boy, Mr. Harris, it's such a thrill to have you on Mel's Rock Pile. And, uh, you know, I'm one of your biggest fans because I've seen just about every film you've ever done. You know, I, I think my all-time particular favorite was the one you did in Sweden, A Man Called Orst, because I saw that. Horse. I'm, I'm begging your pardon? A man called horse. A man, a man called horse. <laughs> I didn't know that it was a who would call somebody horse. That doesn't mean another horse, I guess. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny, Mel. <laughs> now can I just do my song? Uh, sure, of, of course. But now the song that you're going to be doing, Richard, you don't mind if I call you Richard? No, I don't well, mind. It's a, well, this is uh, the song that it was a big hit years ago for you, uh, MacArthur Park, and this is kind of a new updated version, am I right? Well, I, I spent two years working on my voice, and now I'm ready to apply it to, to song rather than acting. Well, this is going to be very exciting for us because we're going to hear some new vocal stylings from this man right here. I hope you like it! <laughs> Mr. Richard Harris, everybody. This park is melting in the dark All the sweet green icing flowing down
to Richard Harrison. Hey, who threw that brick? Are you okay, Mr. Harrison? I'm sorry. My this agents are gonna sue you, Mel! Well, that's it's about all the time we have on Mel's Rock Pile for this week, so until next week, keep the baby faith.